fellow Beaver County people, it's Tony T with another exciting video of Beaver County. Let me turn my radio down here just a little bit. Uh, I got a few requests about the new Veterans Bridge that they that they built that is actually now replacing the Falston Bridge since uh, since the Falston Bridge got got kind of screwed up last year with all the cold and the ice and and they're still determining whether or not they're gonna make it into a walking bridge which I say that's a waste um, I say keep it up I say uh, do the work that needs to be done to it to keep it there that bridge has been there for how many years so if you recognize, we're going down 65, just passing Hanks. And for people that haven't been here for 30 years, if you remember, this right-hand turn that we used to make right here, there used to be a big army truck that used to sit by it. Or, or should I say under it. A friend of mine wanted to buy it, but uh, the guy won out won a ridiculous price price for it so so he turned it down but this is the new veterans bridge comes out over by Jerry's and over by the car dealership I would show you the sides but they got the rails up so high that that's all you would actually see would be the rails so If you uh, look off to the left here, Jerry still has the the eat sign there, which has been there for years and years and years. And I got people behind me waiting on me. <laughs> Don't they know we're doing a production? All right. Well, also. With uh, with the requests, I've been hearing a few requests about Brady's Run Park. So we're going to take a quick cruise through Brady's Run Park. Uh, we'll see. I'll keep it going down through 51. That way, whoever hasn't been around can see what 51 looks like. If you notice, the road going up to... Falston, it's not as busy as what it used to be. It used to be a lot busier when they had the bridge open. Everybody remembers uh, Abel Tire and the Cove. The Cove tried to reopen, but I don't think that they actually got the business that they were hoping for, and they had to shut down. I think it was a year or two that, that the diner was open. They did a few uh, car cruises or bike cruises there. Just didn't seem to pan out for them. You know, but I ate there, and they had really good food, so I, I, I was hoping that they would reopen within the near future. If anybody remembers off to the right where that car place is, I believe that's where Falston Brick used to be. Now, when I'm saying Falston Brick, I, I believe it was shut down before I was even a thought of. Uh, actually, before my brother was even a thought of. And he's four years older than me. On the left up here, Zookies. Zookies has actually come a long way. They finally got those damn satellites off the top of their, their building and made the place look goofy. Farmer's Market has actually expanded. 
And when I say expanded people, I'm talking about the people, I'm talking to the people that have not been in Beaver County for a while. So I know a few of you are out there saying, uh, well, duh, Tony, I, I, I knew that was like that. trailer park is still here. Not as many trailers in it as what it used to be. Oh, for those of you who have not been here in the past, uh, I'd say 30 years, or if they remember the old tennis courts down here on the right, um, there's no longer a dome. They actually built a separate complex for complex for the complex. Is that the right word? Ah, who cares. Um, it's no longer here. They do have a few tennis courts, but they turned one into a hockey ring and another into a skate park. They took the indoor tennis courts and actually stuck them indoors, uh, which actually they're not making a, a lot of business off of. Why? Because the tennis courts are too dark. I, I play tennis. I like to play tennis. I haven't played tennis in a long time because I'm getting because I'm too old. Well, no, I take that back. I'm not too old. Uh, my knees are just going. But I love to play tennis as a teenager. I was quite good at it. Um, Mr. Peacock, who used to teach lessons, or should I say the Peacock family in New Brighton that used to teach teach uh, tennis the old gentleman he uh, gave me my first tennis racket and Kristen Peacock was the first uh, high school girl I kissed uh, of course back then oh, that's the new tennis courts right there along with the skating rink but back to Kristen Kristen was a hot hot tamale She's still a hot tamale, but back then uh, she was the hot tamale. And I think I was like 10 years old. But I got my first kiss from her. Not a tongue kiss, just a kiss, period. Hey, hey, there's the state boys. Not much has changed at the park. Well, a few things have changed if you haven't been here for a while. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the new lodge where they hold the maple syrup festivals, but we'll be going past it. They took down the old, old playground, big playground and, and built a new one. And I still believe that there are outhouses instead of indoor plumbing down here. I do know the wells, the water wells, the drinking water wells that, that you used to have to pump to get the water to come up. I do believe they took out every single one now, so there's not one left in, in this park. I'm not sure about Brush Creek, though. Brush Creek had a lot of them. They were fun. You can get those things to shoot up like 75 feet in the air. Well, maybe not that high, but pretty damn high. The park is still being used a lot down here. Ah, we were talking about where they had the Maple Syrup Festival now. That's the new lodge. To tell you the truth, that's where my company has their, has our picnic this, this year. They had our picnic there last year too, so. Unfortunately, I did not go to it last year. If you remember the dam. And the lake. It's a shame not a lot of people come down here to get swimming anymore. Uh, for a couple, for a long while, they weren't allowed to swim in the in the lake at all because of uh, I believe it was because of all the duck poop. Now there's a couple people down there, not too many. But it's good that it's still being used. It's nice. No guards, not like back in the day when, when we would go swimming, there'd have to be lifeguards there. The county just does not want to pay for lifeguards. 
Well, I got news for you, County. If somebody drowns in this lake, you're going to be responsible whether or not you post signs saying swim at your own risk or not. You know, there's always going to be somebody there questioning why. No, why was there no lifeguards at that lake? No, I guarantee Raccoon still has lifeguards. Guarantee Marine Park State Park still has lifeguards. We got some new building over here going on. Looks like it's gonna be like another uh Looks like it's going to be another lodge type thing. But you remember me saying about the new playground. Let's take a quick trip through here real quick. Boy, I'd love to, I'd love a couple of those stones. I would. But this is the new playground. Well, it's not new, new, but it's got to be new to somebody. I'm glad to see that it's used. Uh, looks like this, it's some kind of camp down here today using it. Yeah, that chick was cute. Maybe she'll see the video. Uh, check out the new uh, check out the new restroom so it, that's new that's the first time I've seen it and it looks like it's going to have lighting on the outside of it alright people I know that was a fast round uh, I'm sorry it wasn't any more but Brady's run really hasn't changed that much um, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you soon. Salute!